hey welcome back all right unless somebody requests a feature this is going to be the last video and if you would like to request a feature by all means i'll hammer on this board game as long as you want me to but i'm not sure why tutorials don't cover this we're going to export this and we're going to let other people play it because you've come this far you may as well right right you're welcome so um i said at the beginning this was going to be a web game couch co-op i'm going to show you how to put it on itch.io which is kind of the simplest place to host your games if you don't have an itch.io account i think you have to be over 13. but go ahead pause this video go make one and come back done great before you export things your first move needs to be to take out all of your test code otherwise you're going to wind up on tcrf for us the big thing c roll we have to comment that out that cannot make it into the final product so now the die should work right doop, 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 doop. piece i click and blue should move six yeah three four five six yeah okay so that's working if you've got other test code in here you need to hunt it out and find it second step i want to show you go to project settings i'm going to search for boot splash there it is under application you may have noticed when we start the game up watch it's going to do it really fast it has this little Godot engine logo. Oh, it won't do it with the project settings open. Okay. Quick, there it is. You can change that. I'm going to leave mine alone, but if you would like, you can upload an image right here with like your name or the Godot logo or whatever. Let me show you something real quick. If you're not an artist, it's not that hard to just find Godot splash screens very classically. Kenny and L, um, patron saint of all indie devs everywhere, made, looks like it's up to 70 now, Godot splash screens, and you can pick one of his. He, I just Googled Kenny and L Godot splash screens, and I got to this repository. I think they're also on his site. If for some reason you're not finding what you're looking for here, I also just put Godot splash screens into itch.io, and it came up with a whole bunch see like that's pretty cool those are adorable so yeah if you want to change that please do i think you should back here in project settings i have kind of on purpose waiting for this moment um left every control that we have up to the left mouse button because we're going to add touch i don't know about you but every time i make something my husband um he won't test it unless he can play it on his tablet so i always have to think about touch we only have one ui control and it should be ui click and it should be somewhere here ui click adding touch is so ridiculously easy see where it says left mouse button if it says all devices you're already there just in case it does not say all devices you come over here and you click the pencil and you change it. It's probably set either to device one or device zero. If I had to guess, just set it to all. That's all you have to do. And now it accepts touch. All right. Next step in us exporting. Go to editor. Manage export templates. These templates are going to tell Godot, like, okay, you're going to take our code and turn it into what? In our case, it's going to be an HTML5 game. But, you know, this is how you would get it on, I don't know, the PlayStation or Windows or... You get the idea. Mine are missing. See where it says Best Available Mirror? Download and install. Click it. Actually, I think it would be fine to do it from any of those, but it said Best. Okay. Hopefully your windows won't try to crash like mine did. I don't even know what that was about. I'm going to close this. I'm going to go to Project. Export. Let's see where it says Add. I'm going to click Web. And I've got the, it's got that nice little HTML5 right there. 
leave all of these settings alone for right now unless you know exactly what they are. I want you to click export project and it's going to ask you to name it. God, don't name it film this. I'm going to put everything in its own little folder. I'm going to call it export so I can find it really easily. If it's going to itch.io, which this one is, it absolutely must be named index.html without exception. If you have your own website, then you can name it something else, I think. I don't know, Google iframe. Click save. It'll... Now you have to go find that folder in Windows. Give me a moment. All of this stuff has to be compressed into a zip file to go to itch. I don't know how you do this on other um, operating systems, but on Windows, you're going to select everything, right click, compress to, zip file. The file name so much doesn't matter, so I don't know. We'll just call it that. It's fine. All right. Go to itch.io. Here's just like the main page on itch.io. Here's me. Follow or don't. <laughs> Go to, there should be an uploads. Upload new project. There it is. Title it something. Itch will, um, itch will give you a nice name. If you want it changed, great. You probably don't. If you have an excellent cover image, put it there. We have made a game. Our project is not downloadable. Our project is HTML because it's playable in the browser. Release status, your choice. I'm going to click upload file and I'm going to put my file in there. Give me one moment. See, mine's uploading. I uploaded the whole zip file. It's not an executable. It Let's get this mixed up. This file will be played in the browser. If you check that, everything else goes away. And it goes, okay. Embed options. Your viewport dimensions, you probably want them set to what you had them in Godot. But I'll be honest with you, every time I do this, I get it wrong on the first shot. And I change my mind and go back and change it. What do we have them set to? Window. Let's let's try it again. I'll probably get mad and change it. 1280 by 720. Hold tight. Viewport dimensions 1280 by 720. Frame options. We can run on mobile phones, so we're going to check that. Automatically start page on load. I don't like checking this. I like having the user click run, but that's a you thing. If you would like a full screen button, check. If you don't, I get it. We don't need scroll bars. Um, it says this may break parts of your page, so I'm going to not click it. Details. Write yourself some lovely copy. Let's come down here to there is no AI on this project. It's always a good idea to check no. Don't let me catch you checking yes. Uh, da, 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 da. I would like comments. Yes, please. At first, itch.io is going to make you set this to draft. That is a good thing. Save and view page. Loading game for the very first time. You know, I actually do like that. Well, that was a little large. I don't know. But if I click run, there's the splash screen. We did it. It's online. Look familiar, right? I just realized I have all of my audio turned off because I've been filming this tutorial. If I want, I can just go turn on all of the audio in Godot, export it again in the same way, and just re-upload the file. You click delete, itch.io will get cranky with you, and then you just re-upload it. But that's it. You guys, I'm kind of sad. We finished it. We finished it. I will... um. I'm going to pretty my page up a little bit and I will have this playable for you and I will leave the link in the description. If you have one that's playable for me, I need the link. You need to link me. Promise me you will, okay? I have a couple of ideas for other tutorials, so please stay around. 
And if you have a request, let me know. I would prefer to not make a tutorial that I've seen other people do better. So, like, no, I'm not going to make a platformer game. I'm going to defer you to lots of other people who are much smarter than me. But if I see a need, I'm going to fill it. Hey, real quick before you scoot, I am on buymeacoffee.com. It's kind of like Ko-Fi and Patreon together. If you found this video helpful or useful, I would appreciate you coming over here and checking this out. If you are willing or able, you can donate on this page. You take care, take it easy, and I will see you on the next tutorial. Bye.